Hi ladies, I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how to create the pleated card that I featured on my blog last Thursday. Um, I'll actually show you the technique of uh, how to create the pretty pleated part at the bottom of the card. It's quite easy. Um, it's a series of uh, measurements that you'll need to take down but I'll feature those on my blog. For you to uh, make a note of um, so I'll go ahead and start now with the uh, scoring uh, you start off with a piece of card that's uh, or decorative paper that's three inches uh, deep by 11 inches long and I've used um, the uh, floral pavilion paper from uh, trim craft because well, I love that pad. So, <clears throat> let's start our scoring. So, we start at one and a half inches. Oops. One and a half, and then we score again at two. And then we go to three. And three and a half four and a half and then five six and a half no oh, six sorry so you go from five to six six and a half seven and a half eight then to nine and nine and a half is your last one so you end up with um let's scored right through um you end up with a series of little uh panels and these are going to make your pleats so but before we um go ahead and do the pleating uh, i want you to make a mark at either side of your um piece of card uh at the midway point so um if it's uh, three inches that'll be at one and a half inches on on either side and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut from the one and a half inch mark that you've made um, from this side we're going to go down to the five inch score line and then from the other side we're going to go from the one and a half inch mark you've made there down to the six inch score line So, we'll place it on here and we'll find our three inch mark. Make sure that's lined up. That's it. So, we're going to go down to the five inch mark and then we're going to go from the six, six inch score mark up to the there up to our one and a half inch line and that gives us our shape that we need to create our pretty pleated curtain effect so it's easy to find where the set center section of your car, uh, piece of card is and what we're going to do is we're going to fold in from either end into the center so you're just going to do your mountain and valley folds starting with the valley fold and then a mountain your valley and then a mountain valley and then a mountain there give them a good burnish and then go to the other side and do the same your valley mountain valley in the mountain Give that a really good burnish so there you see you've got your pretty pleated card effect now you can see um having it this way round which i had on my card you can see the pretty reverse side of the paper poking through and I used I picked up that um, little 
pink polka dot element and use that as the contrast sections of my card which I'll show you in a second this is the reverse side now you could use a single sided decorative paper that you've got and just have it this way round with the like the reverse of the pleats upwards it looks equally as pretty um, but as you can see this way round you can't see the uh, reverse of the card so we go from there if you then take your take your piece of uh, pleated card and then um, you can either just stick a bit of wet glue into all of the pleats and just hold it down for a second until uh, it takes or to make it a bit easier on yourself just put a couple of bits of uh, red line tape across to hold it in place and then put some wet glue and then I'll show you how I use that to build my card I took the um, the largest outer die of the stitch lattice frame uh, die set from Creative Expressions their, from their Shadow Box collection. Um, actually, that's one of my favourite die sets. Um, and so I took the outside frame to create the base of my card, and then I cut a slightly smaller mat of the um, the reverse of the card that I've used um, to give a little a uh, little bit of a contrast and I always got out the center with my trimmer um, because you can use that card to create your flowers or something for your your accent pieces I then used the next um, die in from the stitch lattice frames to create my um, decorative layer of my card and I used the bed of roses um, embossing folder on this uh, particular card um, on the original one I made I used the heart lattice both creative expressions uh, A4 embossing folders um, and then you um, just uh, put some wet glue on and stick it into place um, it's easier to uh, cut your piece of um, embossed card and put your pleated piece over it and then you'll know exactly how much you need to cut off so that it doesn't hang out the bottom. Um, so that's what I did there. So I stuck that on there and then I took the um, scallop lattice buckle bar die from uh, Creative Expressions also and so I die cut that in the same white card as I'd used for my base and uh, I took the reverse polka dot side of the decorative card and uh, before I embossed it, put before I run the buckle bar through the embossing uh, sandwich of the machine I placed a little piece of um, the pink polka dot card onto the reverse and then put it through the embossing sandwich and if you can see it pushes through the your decorative card through the little lattice pieces and uh, just sort of creates a bit more interest I first discovered that as a happy accident but loved it so all I did was uh, just place the center of the buckle bar into the center of my card then trimmed off the edges folded it round and stuck it down and then I put some foam pads just to get a bit of dimension on my card and uh, glued it into place now with my um, other the, the original card I just put some pearls on all the um, hearts of the heart lattice and then uh, did the same ones around the centre of the buckle and used just a happy birthday but you could um, you could just put some flowers up here and a, a little bit of flower in the uh, center of your buckle or you don't you could just use a piece of um, a pretty border die or um, make a, a piece to go across with a punched piece of um, matching card um, or even use um, some ribbon and lace would look equally as pretty um, and then um, I you can do what you whatever you fancy at the top you could uh, 
use whatever sentiment you like they'd make a pretty get well card or even um wedding cards i think so the embellishment side of it is up to you but i can't wait to see what you make there you go you can see my two side by side and uh, i look forward to seeing all your creations so i can share them on the blog thank you for your patience in watching my first ever video sorry about the i'm in an hour in but <laughs> i'm a little bit nervous but there you go that's the first one over thank you very much ladies bye bye for now